Hi, I'm Charlie here with more simple tips to help you live the lifestyle you love. Hey, today I'm talking about true love and how to spot the best partner for you. I mean, that's really the most important thing, right? People agonize over this and it's the sad part is that a lot of people miss out on amazing relationships because the very thing that they asked for, they don't know how to recognize it when it's standing in front of them. And I want you to be able to do that with confidence so you don't miss out on your opportunity for great love. And here are four fantastic points to help you with that. The first one is that you need to understand that great love, true love, that kind of fairy tale magical love does not necessarily start with these amazing fireworks and passion and total physical attraction. That's actually a myth and I don't want you to fall prey to that because while yes you might have that and some people may have that as part of their connection and their initial connection, most of the time that is an indication of a relationship that is just based on physical chemistry that lots of times fizzles later. So the most important thing is that sure if it's there that's wonderful but do not think that that is A, a determinant of the quality of the relationship that you could have or a prerequisite so that if you have something different with someone, you're thinking, oh, but I didn't have that, so this must not be the greatest relationship. That brings me to number two. The dynamic between you and the person that you are looking at is so important in how you enter that relationship. What do I mean by that? Well, my beau has a great saying. He says to the guys, listen, don't date a princess if you don't know that you're a prince. What does that mean? If you think somebody is out of your league, Eh, red flag, check yourself immediately. Why? Because when you get involved with someone who you think is better than you, first you get insecure in the relationship, you try to overcompensate because you think they're going to figure it out and they're going to dump you, and then all that does is create even more anxiety. None of those things help a relationship survive, let alone thrive. So you need to make sure that the dynamic between you and the person that you are entering into a relationship with is balanced. You can overcome something like that, if you're feeling like somebody is a little better than you, but you need to check yourself, like I said, and figure out where is that coming from and clear it up. And that brings you to number three. Just like I said that that crazy over the top passion or attraction is not the determinant or prerequisite for that real fairy tale type magical relationship that you're looking for. Well, on the other hand, Typically, it comes in in a more subtle way, in a more quiet way. Why is that? Well, I talked about the four types of chemistry, the emotional chemistry that's all about that comfort where you can have these amazing conversations. And of course, we already know about the physical chemistry. And there's the intellectual chemistry where you can, you know, you can talk about science and philosophy and whatever else interests you. And then there's the spiritual chemistry. And here's what's important to understand. Now, some of you are out there saying, well, you know, what about this fairy tale thing? When I say fairy tale love, I'm talking about it in terms of that that kind of love that you just have, it has almost a magical quality to it because your connection is so strong. That is 100% real and it is out there and you can absolutely have it in your life. It's all about the choices you make. So don't be deterred by divorce rates and cynics. Again, it's about choices. So getting back to that, what does it typically look like when you have the opportunity to have that with someone? It's quiet, it's subtle. Even if you go back and you talk to couples that have been together and had extraordinary love relationships, male or female, even if they've made that statement where they said, I knew I was going to marry her. I knew I was going to marry him when I met him. They didn't have this crazy over the top attraction. They had this weird kind of quiet knowing it's subtle. I remember having the exact same thing when I met my partner. It was like, what is happening here? This is bigger than me. There's a curiosity, there's a comfort, there's communication. And see, this is where a lot of people go wrong. They have all those things and because all of those things are present or a lot of those things are present, it's, it's hitting you in so many areas at the same time that there isn't one area that stands out. You talk about one and then all of a sudden you go, but then, then, then there's this and, and then actually we can do this. And it fakes you out sometimes because you don't realize that that is letting you know that you have so many things between you that the, the ground is totally fertile for you guys to have an amazing love that develops and a passion that develops out of that love. And that brings me to number four every relationship, you have got to have mutual respect and appreciation. And I don't just mean by your actions and the way you treat each other. I mean under the surface in terms of how you relate to each other. And if you want more explanation on that one, we can absolutely talk about that. I can help you with that in a private session. What I will say about that one is a lot of people don't really understand what that means. And when I work with couples that have been together a long time and they're trying to reignite the passion and save the relationship or save the marriage, that is one of the most crucial elements 
elements that when we unlock that, oh my gosh, not only are they able to, to really find that romance and that passion again, but their relationship is at a whole new level that it never was at, even in the best days of their relationship. So again, anything that you need help with in terms of dating, relationships, a relationship that you're already in, how do you take it to that next level? We can work on that in a private session via Skype, via phone, or in person, depending on where you live. And in the meantime, join me back here next Wednesday for more simple tips to help you get the best out of life and love. And don't forget to tell me if there's something that you want to hear about so I can include it in a future video. And like I said, cheers to the best life and love have to offer.